Tom Kippen. And it's dry currently on the NMU campus. It's the NMU webcam looking towards the northern center, and that's the water from the sprinklers. We're dry in terms of rain falling from the sky. High resolution radar shows we do have some rain showers and some embedded thunder, probably not counting on hearing thunder here out over eastern Lake Superior, but that's moving on off towards the south and east. So a little bit of rain could get into the eastern UP, and then we got more rain showers. Let's go ahead and check some radar sites back out in Canada here. And you can see we actually have a pretty good line of thunderstorms back out north of Minnesota, and this is sliding this way as well. So you can see some rain showers and thunderstorms currently out over Eastern Lake Superior and South Central Lake Superior headed this way. Could bring us some late rain here in the next couple of hours. And then we got more rain showers and thunderstorms. There's Minnesota right there. North of Minnesota there on the other side in Canada. We do have some more rain showers and thunderstorms trying to head this way here. So we do have some rain shower and thunderstorm chances in our weather forecast. Nothing out of control. Nothing crazy in the next 24 to perhaps 30 hours. So Blueberry Fest was today. It was great to be downtown today. I got this show and this is looking west on Washington. Everybody was out there having a great time checking out the tents there, checking out some of the food. I had a blueberry brought today. It was just excellent. Let's catch up on some of the 906 Weather Watcher photos and posts here. 40 degrees from Kev at sunrise this morning in West Ishmaming. Definitely it was a chilly start here. And then this is Beverly Cozell from the other night from the thunderstorms. Definitely been a stormy week at times here in Upper Michigan. And then as we take you on down here, Beverly sent in another photo and this was earlier in the week of a sunset. You can just see the sun there and she sent that in from Covington uh, in the western UP. So just some beautiful weather watcher photos coming in here. So feel free to join our 906 weather watchers photos and that is on Facebook. All right, let's fire up max one here. Temperatures as you can see around 60 or the 60s, 50 zones, some inland spots and honestly temperatures are not going to go far from this tonight. So temperatures for the rest of the night in the 50s and 60s high temperatures today in the 60s and 70s and low temperatures this morning. It was definitely chilly before the sun came up. We had low temperatures in many spots around the 40 degree mark or the 40s officially at the weather service today. 67 was today's high 44 today's low downtown market at the US Coast Guard 64 and 54 were the numbers. And as we look at three things to know here, we're looking at rain and thunderstorm chances tonight into Saturday and then some rain showers may linger on in to Sunday and it will be cooler with some gusty winds and as you can see that cool down comes in on Sunday but we bounce back pretty good as we go into the next week as we slowly warm things up. Your extended forecast for your UP community coming up here in just a bit. High pressure dominated today and that's why we saw the sunshine. Here comes our next storm system dropping in with rain showers, clouds and even some thunderstorms and then you can see the cooler air starts to move on in here for the daytime on Sunday. Could see some rain showers linger, but eventually high pressure builds on in for Sunday night on into Monday, and that should bring dry conditions. Could be another chilly night like this morning as we go into Sunday night on into Monday morning. Here's your UP community extended forecast. Marquette, Marquette County, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s for your Saturday, and then for Sunday cooling off back into the 60s and then warming up as we go in the next week for the first, can't believe it, forced full week of August. For Saturday for the Eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s, around 70 though for Sunday, but cooler near Lake Superior and then warming up a little bit for Monday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures in the 70s, perhaps around 80 and a few inland spots, a little cooler on Sunday and then temperatures in the 70s for the daytime on Monday. For the Western UP, we're looking at temperatures around 80 for Saturday, cooling off a little bit on Sunday and then bouncing back for Monday. And then for the Kewanon Peninsula, we'll see temperatures in the 70s for Saturday, cooler on Sunday, especially near Lake Superior, and then warming things up as we go in the next week. Jake, we'll send it back over to you. All right, thanks.